So I got all of my Arduino uh, parts in the Dodo T588D sound card. Uh, my custom soundboard in a uh, lightsaber. It's all parts from uh, the custom saber shop. And uh, let's just give a quick run through and uh, see what it can do. We pull the kill plug and get the boot sound. And uh, the accent LED starts blinking. That way you know it's good. Give it a power up. Alright, so it's a shatter point with a purple blade. Flash sounds, you can hear the swings. Alright, lock up. Change profiles, you hit the aux button. Yes, this is Dark Apprentice. He's got a red blade, very Sithy sounding uh, sound font for when I'm feeling Sithy. Flash on Clash. You can hear the swing sounds. Lock up. Green lock up. Third sound font. Right, this is patchwork. This is my custom sound font. Blue blade. You can hear some swing sounds. Got the red flash on clash and lock up. Right. Now uh, let's uh, let's go through some color cycles. What I was trying to accomplish with this is uh, being able to change uh, colors in the field without having to plug in a USB cable or pull a chip or anything. So if I hold in the button, it'll go to configuration mode. Alright, so let's say I didn't want blue to be the color. I want to just keep hitting the button. Let's start changing colors. So now we're going into reds. You can scroll forward with the main button and backwards with the aux. See? I'll keep going until you see a color that you like. I'll go with this. Now, let's see if we can get a little more green. More Luke Skywalker green. There, we'll go with green. And when you like that, hold in the button to save it. Alright, so here you can, uh, you can set the blade frequency to be uh, a couple different settings. This is the same as I used on my previous Arduino saber. So here's a slow pulse effect. Rapid uh, pulsing. Solid on. And this is the uh, ambient flicker. I, I, I kind of like this one the best, uh, but just to show that you can change it, I'll, I'll go with the slow strobing effect. Alright, and same with, uh, you can scroll backwards with the alt button, forward with the regular. Right. We'll save that. Now you can select the class color to be anything you want. Uh, set to red right now. Uh, let's pick something else. Yeah, we'll go with now that's pretty cool. Shades of purple. Alright, looks so like a blue violet. It looks pretty blue on camera, but in person it's kind of a blue violet. Alright, so save that. Alright, so that's the font that I want. Now you can scroll through font available fonts by hitting the button or you know either button. Shatterpoint. Like Shatterpoint. Dark Apprentice and Patchwork. So this is the one that I'm interested in saving, so I'm gonna stick with that font. Save it.
right, so that's the exit sound. So now we're blinking again, so we know we're good. So now it's green with the uh, blue flash on clash. So that's basically it. Uh, it's an Adreno and a WT588D uh, soundboard, but how did I fit it in the hilt? Uh, I kind of took a page from uh, Mad Cow's playbook at uh, Genesis Custom Sabres, and what he likes to do in a lot of his designs is mount the switches high on the hilt, and then that leaves a lot of room down on the bottom uh, for you to screw off the bottom part of the pommel, or uh, bottom part of the hilt, and it reveals the electronics. So let's see if I can off here okay. so that's what's inside it um, see if the camera can see that this the uh, there's the Arduino Nano you can see right there and the uh, there's the wt 58 d sound card and the speakers down here of course and it's all uh, held in there uh, I made a, a sled uh, chassis out of uh, uh, some one inch uh, poly pipe uh, that I found at my local hardware store. And you can see here's the uh, rechargeable batteries wedged in there too. It's not, when this is all together, it's not going anywhere. So, pull out the kill plug. You can actually see the lights on the uh, Arduino light right up. So, I mean, it works. I mean, there's no blade on it right now, but you can see, and you can see the light on the screen. So that's, and the sensors are actually in this part of the hill on top of the battery. So that's what's in there and that's how it's mounted. Uh, it's just on some... Uh, it's just mounted to some uh, some proto board and kind of taped in there. Uh, and it's when this is all together, it can't... I mean, I it would probably be smart of me to try and insulate some of these, but because of the way it is and how everything's wedged in there, this really can't touch you just kind of have to believe me on that. I really can't touch, but I, even so, I may put some hot glue or something on these, uh, the top of these pins so that it can't touch by accident if I really whack it hard, but I don't see how that would happen. So, that's uh, that's how it's fit in there. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching and uh, seeing what you can do with an Arduino and uh, a little bit of imagination. Thanks for watching. Bye.